G'day, Andy from Single Malt. Uh, today we're going to do, I guess, what we would call our second instalment um, of the Ben Riach Wood Finish series. We've tasted the uh, sherry finish and the um, uh, and the rum finish, uh, so we're going to move on to the tawny port. Now, in the last edition, I told you all about Ben Riach, so that's probably not much point covering over old ground. Um, so I guess I can share a bit of information about port. I think port's quite an interesting wine, <clears throat> particularly for Australia. It was the major part of the Australian wine industry up until the 80s, before Neville ran famously. was asked if he would like a beer after winning the election. He said, no, I prefer a glass of Rosemount Chardonnay, um, which uh, sort of led to the uh, explosion of... Uh, both Chardonnay and the Australian table wine industry as opposed to the fortified industry. We used to make fortified wines in Australia so they could endure the trip uh, below decks across the equator through the tropics um, and obviously table wines couldn't make it so we used to fortify the hell out of them um, by pouring uh, grape spirit in them which uh, fortified them, made them stronger and uh, more uh, resilient to heat damage as they cross the tropics on their way back to their uh, uh, their natural market in England. Um, but yes, with the decline of uh, the port markets, there's also been a decline in um, port sales so uh, and port barrels. So it's actually quite great that we could get these ports. Now this is obviously a Portuguese port, not an Australian port. Um, and it is from the region of, uh, um, sorry, Duro, Duro, which I think means hard, Duro, in uh, Portuguese, or it might be Spanish, Duro. Um, but it's the region where all the uh, port comes from now, because we have to call it Tawny in Australia, can't call it Port. Um, you know, a bit like Champagne and that sort of thing, can't call it, can't call it sparkling white wine. Um, okay, so this is um, aged in American oak barrels and finished in Duro Port. Um, they are hoggies, hogsheads, and have a look at the colour of that. That is bronze, so that really have a lot of colour coming through from the um, from the port because it was the whiskey was previously aged in American oak, which doesn't give a lot of colour, particularly gives it a uh, light colour. Is that really bronze comes from uh, sherry oak, or in this case, port wood. Um, beautiful bottle, 15 years. And uh, I'm just going to pour myself one of those. And I'm going to compare it to the one we did last week, which was the dark rum, which, um, which I really enjoyed. So I'm not going to say which one is better. What I'm going to do is describe the flavours of both. So that's obviously a much lighter finish. So that's, that's Jamaican rum. So that's Jamaican rum. Probably was American oak. Um, used to age that uh, Jamaican rum. Whereas this being European was probably uh, aged in a European oak. Okay. So just so I guess let's recap on the the rum, that lovely sultana intensity. Yeah, oh, it's still a beautiful smelling um, whiskey. Now the port, great colour. Oh, it's really spicy, like um, Asian spices. It's like tamarind and uh, ooh, um, coriander, the five spice. Wow, wow, really different to the rum, but um, yeah, intense too, like a syrup. Just the golden syrup smell through it. So back on the rum now. Um, yeah, look, lovely intensity. 
really um, full flavors, sultanas and vanilla and uh, caramel. Mmm, fabulous. Um, does have that uh, that lift at the finish, um, with a little bit of uh, sort of uh, drying that you get when things are aged in American oak. Let's compare it to the uh, um, the port finish, which is obviously European. Wow. Mmm. It's a smoother whiskey because of the European oak it does tend to smooth the whiskey out. Wow, Jesus, so much flavor there. Ooh. Oh, what's that? Right, licorice and caramel. Oh. Yum. Oh, there's just layers and layers and layers. It's like uh, prunes. Yeah, prunes, like plum, dried, really big, chunky dried fruits. Oh, oh it's just smacking them. Rich. Oh, what a beautiful whiskey. Um, look, it's a it's a great follow-up, and look, it's a great example of the difference between the two styles and the effective finish. Yeah, great one if you've got a little bit of the uh, the rum finish to then compare it to the tawny because they're really, really different, and it's lots of fun to mm, just taste one and then move on to the other. Double slander. Cheers. <coughs>